Tesla now says that their prefabricated supercharger units, or PSUs, can be installed in just four days from delivery to opening the site. The supercharger stalls built at Giga Buffalo in New York State are mounted to concrete bases. They're all ready to be hooked up to the utility grid. Up to 12 supercharger stalls are loaded onto each delivery truck. They are then craned into place and hooked up to the utility. Now the largest pre-assembled site built so far has 76 superchargers, which I believe must be the Teon Ranch California supercharger site right here. And so far, 2,300 of these prefabricated supercharger stalls have been installed in North America. This is so smart. I mean, cha-ching, you get billions of dollars from the federal government now, and they're just cranking them out. Mm -hmm. There are also some big supercharger sites coming, like this 200 supercharger stall site in Ocelio County, Florida, and this 164 stall site coming near Highway 46 in Lost Hills, California. With 16 pull-throughs. Waiting for the trailers. <laughs> That's more than most <laughs> superchargers have stalls, and it has 16 pull-throughs, 164 superchargers. I can't even imagine. Talk about Tesla time. Like, Let's talk about power <laughs> draw. 1.21 gigawatts. That's insane. <laughs> and I did a little back of the napkin math. Uh, we did an episode, by the way, a while back on back of the napkin math. Back of the napkin math to me means fast innovation. You might want to check it out here. On average, Tesla is now opening a new supercharger stall every 60 minutes. 60 minutes. And currently, Fords and Rivians are starting to appear at Tesla superchargers because they've been allowed onto the network. And as we pointed out, Rivians and Fords take up to two stalls instead of one, which kind of sucks. And very soon, the next batch of non-Tesla EVs will be allowed to charge at superchargers, Polestars, and GMs. So this is why Tesla is innovating faster ways to get superchargers online. Yeah, it's really important that they do because uh, as more and more of these cars take up double spaces, uh, I think a lot of Tesla owners are gonna get mad. Yeah, and thank you so much, Tesla, for basically being the only company in North America that's decided that they're actually going to have a reputable uh, fast charging thing. So thanks for basically holding up the whole world on that one. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.